to Hollywood now. That's where business owners along Sunset Boulevard placed attractive planters on sidewalks. They're trying to keep homeless encampments from popping up, but the city wants them removed by Monday morning. The city says that those planters are an obstruction, but critics say an alternative is much worse. Yeah, and the city is moving quickly to get them out of there, but it took years to remove the people in the tents. Let's throw it to Chris Wolf. He's live in Hollywood tonight with more on that. Yeah, Rick and Kareen, a real showdown could be brewing for Monday morning with the forced removal of all of these planters you see behind me. That is why uh, it could be a tough situation, and a lot of the business owners I spoke with seem defiant. KTLA has been there from the beginning, covering crime, homelessness, and other issues plaguing Hollywood. We told you how business owners along one stretch of Sunset Boulevard shared that they were forced to live in fear because of homeless encampments right outside of their establishments. They tell us they, along with their clients and customers, were threatened on various occasions, their businesses broken into or vandalized. Repeated pleas to the city for help were unsuccessful. We've literally watched uh, all of our neighbors go. Uh, I think one of the saddest things right now is uh, small business retention and the mayor should be embarrassed because uh, it's just disgusting how many small businesses have fled and left. Owners of the legendary Sunset Sound recording studios reveal they were nearly forced to close because of a ballooning encampment surrounding their property blocking access. They tell us without help from government officials they decided to take measures into their own hands with a novel idea. Earlier this year, business owners took on the expense of installing planters and garden beds along the sidewalk to discourage the development of homeless encampments. They tell us they have compassion for those without housing, but feel there was no other alternative. You should be proud to have tourists walking down the street instead of defecation and piss on the ground. You should be proud to have money coming and flowing through your city. Finally, the city is responding, but not the way business owners had hoped. Notices are posted that the planters and garden beds are obstructions and must be removed by Monday morning or city workers will clear the sidewalks. Business owners are frustrated, shocked and angry. It's disgusting. You made a comment earlier you were going to chain these things down before yeah. Monday. What are, what are your thoughts? They will not move on Monday. I'd rather look at those planners than look at people that can potentially hurt or harm me. And then it's like, um, why they don't put the same effort and energy into getting the people off before people try to do stuff and take it in their own hands? But, yeah, it's a scary thing. I'm walking down the street right now with my wife and kids, and I... I walk down all these piles of people. I'm always ready for what whatever may happen, but at the same time, I, I, I just wish it, it wouldn't have to be that. We did reach out to the mayor's office for comment, but have not heard back. Of course, it is the weekend. Reporting live in Hollywood, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. All right, Wolfie, thank you.